It's hot. So hot. Want to touch the honey? Um. Mmm. 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 Let's talk about Late Night with the Devil. This is another movie. This 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 and Long Legs go together. Where when they came out, everyone was convinced this was their favorite movie and that it was the greatest thing, one of the best horror movies in forever. And they all felt the need to jump into comments and defend the fucking movie uh, and tell anyone that didn't really kind of get down with it that they're a fucking idiot and they don't get it. And you just want something more cookie cutter and you just want jump scares or whatever. I liked Light, Late Night with the Devil better than I liked Long Legs. I liked it better than fucking Abigail. I liked it better than Maxine. I really liked Late Night with the Devil. I thought the idea of Late Night with the Devil was so interesting. And this, let me be, be, be clear here, with In a Violent Nature, how that was a gimmick. This is a gimmick too. This is a allegedly lost episode of a, like a, a late night talk show in the vein of like Johnny Carson or whatever. But it's their Halloween special. And because it's the Halloween special, they're doing some spooky shit. It's got David Dasmalchian in it. And he actually has like a, a big fucking meaty role. He's the main character. And it really all hinges on whether or not he can convince you and the tone of this movie can convince you that this is a real broadcast of like a fucking late night talk show from the late 70s or early 80s or whatever. I don't remember specifically. And also, I'm extremely fucking drunk. So if you try to explain it to me in the comments and I'm sober, I'm just going to get pissed at you. It's plain and simple. Uh, like an awesome, vintage, very like nostalgic for a time that I wasn't even alive during feel for Halloween. I love the little bumpers during their like commercial breaks with like the little witch and the pumpkin and all that kind of stuff. I was like, oh, wow. Like I'm really like simmering in this attitude and this movie does like build and build and build and there were a number of moments in this movie where i actually was like really kind of quite scared uh and, and it did interesting things with with its like setting of like oh it's this like you know 70s fucking tv show and it, it kind of had a found footage element but because it was a tv show it was more produced so that was kind of interesting but it had the found footage elements like during the commercial breaks when they like the people were taking breaks and stuff. My only thing really, I was so sucked in. I was like, wow, how can they fuck this up? Like, I, it's so good. I'm, I really am loving this fucking movie. My only thing was the ending. I didn't like the ending. I just felt like they didn't know how to end it. And the ending went so far into, you know, like, kind of an evil dead sort of territory like a cheese territory and it started reminding me a lot of this episode of the shutter tv show creep show there's an episode where there's like a bob ross type character and it's basically like what if bob ross but evil dead and it's like on his live broadcast i don't it kind of reminded me of that and it just it spun so far off the rails that it lost the charm of like we're watching a late night 70s tv show and i think that truly, no matter what you tell me, it was a case of we don't know how to end this movie and that's what we're gonna go with. Just to be like, wow, look at this crazy stuff. Go home, you know? And I just, from the bottom of my heart, I wish they could have found a way to wrap it up nicer because I just wasn't satisfied with that ending. That being said, every time I think back on it, I think about all the stuff beforehand and the build to it, and I think on a rewatch, I will enjoy this more. Because um, I, I I remembered it, I, I didn't stop thinking about it, and that's as we have discussed on Dante's Rapping before. If I think about it after I watched it, that's a really good sign. And I, I think about this a lot. So I really do think I liked it, and I think I enjoy watching it again, especially on like Halloween, because it's got that great Halloween atmosphere to it. Uh, in, in a way that you don't see too often, like a TV broadcast on Halloween. I need to watch the like the like, WNUF um, Halloween special or whatever. I have that on Blu-ray actually, and I, people have told me I'd really like it. So maybe I'll give it a spin. But um, Late Night with the Devil, I really liked it. I, I just like I said, I, I, that ending. Damn it, you know, like I wish we could have stuck the landing a little bit better. And uh, I remember I tried to watch another movie like right after, and it was like this fucking bizarre stop motion thing i was so sauced up by that point i couldn't focus on it it was like moon moon kingdom i don't remember what it was called someone will be like oh you're thinking of this it was like this little girl goes into like a coma and then like all these like crazy things start happening and i was like it was like fucking with me so bad and i think it 
coming right after the ending of Late Night with the Devil was just bizarre. Uh, but like, again, that like exorcism, not exorcism, that seance sequence where they're bringing the demon out of the little girl, that chilled me to the bone. I'm dead serious. And even with the like kind of like wacky Evil Dead, like eyes rolling into their head and like weird kind of like bombastic things happening, I was still like, man, I, I really do feel as though I'm watching a TV broadcast where they contacted the devil. And that's kind of a ooh, eerie concept. And that's interesting because I just got done talking about how long legs didn't fucking scare me because of all of its satanic shit. It didn't really use its satanic stuff. You're gonna make a movie that has to do with Satan, Satan worship, but you don't really feel his presence. You just feel like they made a movie with great atmosphere and then they said, it's Satan, so be scared now because Satan. Ooh. Late Night with the Devil felt like it went through the effort to like make me feel the presence of Satan in it, no matter how wacky it might have come across. That's my opinion of Late Night with the Devil. I think I only have one movie left to talk about. Um, Long Legs, Maxine, Inviolent Nature, Abigail, which we discarded, and then, oh shit, shit, this is gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a doozy.